You know what I'm saying? Everything on you no. is round. When you eat an apple, it's round. Watermelon is this round. Is Bill, this is Bill Nye again. This, this is uh, all uh, just uh, your. Uh, uh, listen, you're, let me, you're, you're let me that, finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Well, I let bananas you speak. aren't round. I let you speak. Okay. I let you speak. Apples are round. Yep. Watermelons are round. Coconuts are round. Fish are round. Humans are round. Animals are round. I get around. Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Everything around us is round. And the universe is round because every every big uh, 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 global entity that's around us is specifically speared, meaning that it has a 360 degree angle on it. And the reason why it has a 360 degree angle on it because 360 degree angle is perfect. Break that down when I say that. Like the reason why you got two eyes, right, is because there's a sun and a moon in the sky, and those are the two things that you see. Cool story, mm. bro. You got two arms, correct? <laughs> cool story, man. It's two legs, correct? I like that, Dave. Good one. Dude, you're, you're, you're telling a story. No, 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 no. I'm talking about actual facts. With the story. There's no, no science no, 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 behind no, no. what Let you're saying. There Zero. is science. The, the science is real, is, real, is real simple because I can tell you how the science is real simple because it's actual fact because I have two arms. I have two legs. I have two eyes. That's actual facts. So the actual facts is, is that being that I understand holy geometry, right? I understand that the most perfect shape that we use still on this planet to get around this planet is a circle. And I know that the most perfect shape is the shape of an apple, an orange, a watermelon. <laughs> because the reason why they grow that way what is about because, the poor they, banana? because they receive energy from the universe. So being that they receive energy from the universe, the universe shapes and molds them into what the universe is, which is perfect circular mm -hmm. shape. Cool. Listen to me. When you look at a, a baby being born, right? When a baby is born, it's in a what? Complete what? Oh. It's in a complete womb, which is what? A 360 degree spherical circle, right? Correct? Not not spherical, it's kind of oblong, but whatever. No, not whatever. No, it's 360 <laughs> degrees. I got four of them, so I know. So when a baby is born, it's born in a complete spherical form. So in any, the universe is, oh, we're nothing but walking representations of the universe. So when we see how we're born, you know how everything else is born. Seeds well, pop to life. Because why? Because they receive the energy from the universe, from the sun, from the moon. That's why they all work on the same chain, line, and chain. Because did, if, you the, ever if read the moon the and the earth saga? and the sun is all born the same way, they're all 360 degree spherical circles. Why? Because that's the perfect well, shape of holy sacred geometry. Talk about sacred geometry. Take a look at this puppy, right? Yeah, this is the star capella. That's wow. Okay, That's the star capella. You can see this with your naked eye. Yeah. I <clears throat> want you, <clears throat> excuse me. Now you telling me when you see that energy right well, there, <clears throat> that that energy to you does not look spherical to you. Does that look spherical to you? It does. Does Do, do all of these look spherical to you? They do. <laughs> Dave guys ready, yo. Dave got a whole ready, bunch of man. stuff, yo. I love He's it. Ready. I love it. Yeah. Um, because it's energy. It's like pulsating energy. Yeah, see, orbs. See, orbs see, like, it's not by mistake, man. Mm. That when we play things like basketball, tennis, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 soccer, all these different sports that we play, right? They all have spherical shapes. And you know why we use them and like to play that game? Because they're games of energy. And the best way to move your energy through space, we mm. know as a fact, is 360 degrees of spherical. So, so listen, I hear what you're saying. Great story, but there's no science story, behind it. Facts. It's it's a story. If I go get yeah. a basketball right now and throw it in the hoop, right, and it's gonna go in a 360 degree ring, right, and if I move it through space, right, it's gonna be able to move through space because it's in the perfect shape. It can go any way that I want it to go. Like and an atom. Yeah. If I what drop these balls, is atoms? what is atoms what's round? That? Have you ever seen an atom? I haven't. You haven't seen an atom. No, no one's seen an atom. It's nonsense. No. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. I mean, so, let me ask you another question. <laughs> Do we have science? What, Go ahead. What sphere is blood? What sphere is you're blood? You're talking about blood cells? Yeah. yeah. Are they square? Yeah, they're square. Mine are square. And are they round? <laughs> no. 
pressure. Let's get into curves? NASA. Let's get into NASA. You yeah. guys ready for does some a NASA? Woman got curves? She does. What's that? But when she laying down, she flat. Yeah, that's when she laying down though. You know what I'm saying? With when mountains. She's spinning and moving in motion. She is round. Right. Yes. I'm gonna show you. Yep. What's Let me that? Ask you another question. So what are the satellites then that they put up in space that we see? How are they yeah. able to stay on that sphere? Mm, with, have you ever seen a satellite in space? They, listen, yeah, I have seen a satellite in space. You, you actually haven't. Nobody has. And no, if you Google it, if you go, I, if you go on land, right, and you turn off all the street lights, get all the street lights out of the way, see, and just uh, go I'm with up you. There and look, I see right? those things too. How do you know they're satellites? Because they're beeping. They're beeping. Yeah. You, you can hear the beep. No, you can see the beep. Thousand pound satellite. Okay, so let me ask you okay. a question. The helium balloon, right? What is the spherical shape of it? Oh, stop with the spherical <laughs> shape, man. Okay, knock it off. I it, mean, in it, order it, to it, travel it, through space, you have to have a what? But he's talking about the satellites right now and showing that they I'm don't exist. I'm talking about satellites. I'm, I'm not talking about... I'm showing you this with you, each other, you, though. Your, your belief in that everything has to be spherical because the Earth is spherical. Well, even cool the NASA story, satellites bro. that they're putting up in space is spherical. Dude, I mean, look at that. That's a spherical being. Am I correct? The balloon's not spherical. It's kind well, it's of teardropped, not. if you ask me. Oh, well, right? that's because it's and pulling the weight. And some of these balloons are bigger than football stadiums, okay? Okay. There's tens of thousands of these things up there. That's well, not even really about me believing NASA. It's about me looking at what the universe has showed me. Because everything around me is spherical, so why wouldn't I believe that the actual thing that I'm on is spherical? If I can take we a drop get of by water, the spherical thing? Let's just give it a rest water, because it's right? not going to prove anything. That is your belief. No, it's There's not no my proof belief. It's the universe's it. belief. Point. I'll yeah, give you the point. You need to you start sending, point for up, that. sending up uh, flat Earth balloons and see if they'll float in space. Because if a flat Earth balloon can't float in space, then it's not supposed to be in space because we live in space. Let me give you an example. If I take a rock, right? And they say if the rock is square, right, and I put it in a, a, a river stream, right, which is symbolic to the universe, right? If I put that rock in that river stream, right, over a period of time, what shape is that rock <laughs> going to turn into? They turn into all different shapes. No. It's going to only turn into one shape, and that's spherical. Pause it right there. Pause it. Pause. I can't, I can't pause that. You can't pause it. What do you it? need? All right, the front of that missile, right? What does it look like? A cigar. Like that's why I talk about holy geometry, right? The front of that missile looks like the front of a woman's breast. Correct? Is that a missile? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> holy geometry. You talking about breasts? <laughs> no, but just being real though. We copy so from nature in order is this, to make is technology. This? You see what I'm saying? We copy so from that, nature to make technology. So when we copy and make these different things, we make them in certain objects because it has to coincide with the thing that we're living on. <laughs> it's like when you look up in the sky, mm. everything is round. Everything is circular. There's nothing flat in the sky. Nothing. Nothing. We're going to have to play back and the episode really for him so he can see it all. <laughs> yeah, so, Bring this back. So they, yeah.